Well, Mistral has done this again. Mistral has released Mistral Small 3.1, which is a state of the art multimodal model, multilingual model, and Apache 2.0 license, which is beautiful. So, Mistral Small 3.1. This has been built on top of Mistral Small 3, which is an amazing model. First released a couple of months back, but with improved text performance now, with multi model understanding now, and an expanded context window of 128k tokens. Now, it outperforms models like Gamma 3, GPT 4 Mini. We look at the benchmarks. We'll also go ahead and test this out using cursor. I've prepared a few codes for you that I will show you in just a second. It speeds up to 150 tokens per second. And the important thing is that this model is released under Apache 2.0 license just like other models of Mistral. You are free to use at any point of time and that's pretty good. On the x-axis we see the latency here. On the y-axis we see the performance. We can see that Mistral small 3.1 stays right on the left top and it's pretty amazing. This has been done on the GPQA diamond. I don't really trust the benchmarks, but these are the benchmarks that you can see on the left. On the orange color, we have Mistral Small 3.1. Then we have Gamma 3. Then we have Cohere IR Vision. Then we have GPT 4.0 Mini in green. Then we have Haiku 3.5 Cloud uh, on the right. So these are the benchmarks. It performs better than all these other models that has mentioned. We can see that it has been compared on benchmarks such as Simple QA, GPQA Main, GPQA Diamond, MMLU, MMLU Pro, Human Eval, Math, but you can see in the Math benchmark it's not really up to mark. For a Math benchmark, uh, you know, I really love Quen model. Okay, moving on. Multimodal uh, capabilities, we can see that on the Math Vista we have MMMU Pro, MMMU. MMMG bench, so many benchmarks of multi-model. We can see that it performs well on the chart QA, doc QA, and AI uh, 2D QA, so AI to diagram. Multilingual capabilities, this is amazing, and I've tested this out on Asian countries, particularly Hindi. Uh, it performs, outperforms in European language, and East Asian language, and Middle Eastern language. And you can see that uh, the benchmarks on long context, we can see long bench V2, ruler 32K, ruler 128K, it outperforms GPT-40 mini. They have released a pre-trained version as well. Now you can go to Hugging Face and try this model 3.1 base and 3.1 instruct if you go to 3.1 instruct page you can see that we have this beautiful model and run this model you know on an rtx 4090 or a 32 gb ram macbook once you quantize it it's a huge model but i'm sure many quantizations will come up use this to get conversational agents low latency function calling of course function calling is pretty good for mistral models subject matter experts after fine tuning then we have local inference for hobbies, 10 organizations handling sensitive data. We can do programming and math reasoning, long document understanding and visual understanding. Let's go ahead and test this out. But before testing, you can see the key features. It can handle vision, which means it can handle images. It cannot generate images, but it can handle and understand images and give you the text response. Multilingual, it supports a dozens of languages and uh, we're going to see one or two examples of language. Agent centric, it has native function calling capabilities and JSON outputting, and that's huge. Advanced reasoning, conversational reasoning capabilities, Apache 2.0 license, 128k tokens, it adheres to the system prompt, it is using a Tekken tokenizer of 131k vocabulary size, and it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna go to my cursor and I'm a I have a few codes that I've made ready for you. So I can go to main.py. So here, what we have done is we have imported Mistral. Uh, from Mistral AI, we imported Mistral. We're using the environment variables, which means we have put our code in .env file, uh, Mistral API key, and we have put in the API key. How to get the API key? You can just go ahead uh, to try the API here. And you can go ahead and go to the API keys. You can go to create new API key, give it a name, uh, select an expiration date, and create new key. Copy the key and paste in the key on the dot environment variables. Regarding this model, uh, Mistral Small 2503, the name of the model you can obtain it from by going to limits here. Gonna go down and you can see that this is the model that you're talking about. So Mistral Small 2503. 
So we put that model and then we start up the client and then we get the response. So client.chat.complete. The name of the model is Mr. Small2503. And this is the message. The role is user and the content is tell me a joke. And this chat response, we extract that response and print it out. So let's run this. So, so I say python main.py and tell me a joke. So what do you call a fake spaghetti and impasta? Cool. Next, let's look at the image capability of this model. So I'm going to close this. So this is the image capability example. We can see that uh, is the same thing. We load up the environments. We have Mistral AI and then we import base64 as well because this is required for the image. Now this function encode image, this takes the raw image and it encodes into base64 because a computer understands numbers. Then uh, this is the main image, so planets.jpg. So this is the image that we will put forward. And then we have this base64 image because we encode the image and give it this image path. Then we have the API key, we have the model here. We are using the same new model that you are testing out today. We have the client, start up the client. And this is a structure uh, for sending a message. So we give this message of text here and we give this message of image URL here and this is the link of the image in the base64 format. So we start up this chat response chat.completion uh, and we can see that this is the output so let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to say python image.py. This will go ahead and look at my image planet.jpg and give an explanation. So what do we have? The image displays the planets of a solar system arranged in a 3 cross 3 grid against a star starry background and it's pretty cool so top row has mercury venus and earth then we have the middle row has mars jupiter and saturn then the bottom row has uranus neptune and pluto and that's amazing let's look at one more capabilities of this language capability this is the same main dot pi example but this is what uh, we have given as a prompt tell me in hindi who is the president of india so I'm going to go ahead and test this out. I'm going to say hindi.py and let's see. So it gives me something, but we don't know that. So just copy this. Go ahead to hindi to English translate and put in this. So, so this is how we can use this. So this small model is multimodal because we have image translation capability, any translation app or image uh, understanding and language understanding capability is pretty good because it can understand other languages as well without giving any specific prompts you can say because i've given this in english but i'm i've asked it to reply in hindi so it understands that as well incorporating all those in a single model is huge and this is what mistral did so you can go ahead and try it out and i will see you next time